everyone, welcome to my channel, Mel Holistic. I'm Mel. Do you feel that your whole body is stiff and stressed out from a whole day of work? If so, this video is for you. Because in this video, I'm going to share with you some yoga poses that you can do even as a beginner to help relieve any body stiffness and aches and stress. And we'll be using some props like yoga blocks and belts to help you out. So yoga beginners, rest assured that this is also suitable for you. Whenever you're ready, let's follow me and begin the class. Alright, now let us start off with our first pose by giving our shoulder a good stretch because if most of you are working in front of a computer, I'm sure you will have very strained shoulders. And so this is what we're going to do. Prepare two blocks. Alright, you can place it at the highest height and try to place it at your shoulder width distance. And what you're going to do next essentially is to make sure that your hips and your knees are aligned in one line and place your elbows on top of the block now just be careful and stay balanced all right don't fall and now just press your shoulders down press your whole body down so that you can feel the lengthening of your back and your shoulder blades as well as your tricep stretch now if you can palms together if you cannot, you can keep it apart. And if you can, try to see if your palms still together and your tongue can reach the back, the upper back. Alright, now try to walk your knees back if you can. Now here you should feel your triceps stretch, the lengthening of your back. Alright, and just Stay calm, feel the beauty of this stretch. Alright, at our office desk, we often feel stiff because we sit too long. Therefore, we need to lengthen our body, our backs, open up our shoulders. Alright, now we'll slowly come up. So just take it easy, one palms down, followed by the other. Hit and release the block. All right, now just come into child's pose. Sit your hips back and rest your head down. If you can't, just keep your hips high up, or if you can, sit your hips low. Good and release from the pose. Good. Now come to lie onto your abdomen. Alright, now once you're here, can you try to bend both of your knees? Alright, and using your hands, try to pull your toes or your heels towards your glutes. Now you should feel the stretch in your quads. Alright, just give it a good, good stretch. Continue to breathe in and out. In yoga, it is essential that we use our breath to help us in the poses. Just one more breath in and out. Good. Now, can you use both of your hands to grab onto your ankles as you inhale, try to pull your legs up. Alright, now see if you can use your big toes to touch each other. If not, just leave it apart. Any back, lower back pain issue, you can flex your toes. Right, if not, try to point the toes and just stay here in bow pose. Now, in this bow pose, you need to squeeze your glutes together. Try to lengthen up your legs more. Now, here, you should feel the opening of your chest, the squeezing of your glutes and your shoulder blades, lengthening of your arms, and we release. Good. Now just rest for a moment here. Toes in the opposite direction. And rest your head on the back of your palms. Just rest for a moment here. Good. And now we slowly come up. And coming into downward facing dog. Alright, so now pushing your hips back. Now you may feel stiff after the whole day, so we can walk the dog. 
just a tiny little bit and lengthen your back as you're in downward facing dog pushing your hips up high try to ground your right heel down as you straighten your right knee and bend your left knee walking the dog good now coming into all fours okay you now raise your right hand up towards the ceiling and place your right shoulder onto the mat lengthen your left hand forward good now try to open up your left hand up towards the ceiling and back onto all fours you will switch sides straighten up your left hand thread your left hand underneath the right armpit left shoulder on the mat straighten your right hand forward good and now open up your right hand towards the ceiling and right palm back onto the mat good coming back into all fours now stack your right foot outside of your right palm coming into lizard now feel the stretch and the opening of your right glutes all right so just turn slightly over to the right side look over your right shoulder right hand can be on your right quads now if you can try to look over your right shoulder towards your left foot now if you have difficulties in this pose just place your left hand on a block at the lowest height at the middle height or the highest height right whichever that works for you all right so feel now feel the stretch in your left quad. Good. And we switch legs. Right foot back. This time now, left foot forward. Good. And now, same thing, left hand on the left side. Look over your left shoulder to look at your right foot. Feel the stretch in your right quads. Feel the opening of your left side of your hip. One more breath in. One breath up. Good. And hands back onto the mat. And this time around, one more time. Left foot step forward. Outside of your right hand. Now can you bend your left knee? Right hand grab onto your left foot. And try to pull your left foot in closer towards your glutes. Now you should feel more intense stretch in your left quads. And continue to breathe. Now for many beginners, some of you may find this difficult. If so, you can always use the belt to help you by looping the belt over your left foot like this. Alright, and you can pull the left foot closer in. Just make sure that your right knee is stuck above your right ankle. Right, so you can use a belt to help you out if you need to, or simply use your head. And we switch legs. Left foot forward this time round. Bending your right knee. Left hand grab onto your right foot and pull your right foot closer in towards your glutes. Again, if you need a belt to help you out, just loop the belt over your foot all right that's what i'm doing now okay and pull it close all right so that's how you use props like belt to help you and release the belt if you need to and pull your right foot closer in towards your glutes one more breath in one breath out and we release very good and now rest on your abdomen 
one more time. And just take a moment here to relax. Catch your breath. One breath in, one breath out. Good. Now come one more. Set your hips on your heels and place both of your foot forward. Right now, can you bend both of your knees towards the chest? Just hug your knees to your chest. All right. Now, can you use the help of a belt? All right, just hook over your foot and straighten them out. All right? And just hold in both poses. Well, you need to engage your quads. Engage your back. Don't round. Okay, just keep it straight. Not too much weight on your hands. Just stay. This is a little bit of core strengthening. And slowly we release the belt. And legs down. Very good. Just slowly straighten out your knee. Slowly touch onto your toes. However far you may be, you could be here. No matter how, just don't round the back. Keep your back lengthened and straight. And go forward. One, two. Again, three. One more time, four. And one more time, five. And this time round with our hands straightened up. Inhale, one. Down and up. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up and down. Okay. Now reverse plank. Palms on the mat. Fingers facing forward. Now point your tippy toes as you inhale. Lift up your pelvis and squeeze your glutes. Now for beginners who find reverse plank difficult, you can simply bend your knees and as you lift up, just squeeze your glutes together. This is almost like a bridge pose, but this is what we call a reverse plank. Good for beginners to try. Right, if you can, straighten out your knees and your big toes touching the ground. Now in here, you should feel the engagement of your core your glutes, your arm strength. And one more breath in. One breath out. Slowly lower your hips down. And let's come to a close for the class. Sitting up tall and relaxed. As you inhale, raise your hands up towards the ceiling. Breathing in positive energy as you exhale, release all negative thoughts from your mind, lower your hands down. One more breath in, one breath out, one last time inhale, exhale. Palms together in front of your heart center. Now with your eyes still closed, gently listen to the sound of the inhalation and exhalation as you're breathing through your both nostrils. And thank yourself for joining me in today's class to relieve stiffness from your body and release your body from stress. And I hope you continue to energize yourself with more yoga practice. And with this, gently bow to yourself. Namaste. And open up your eyes.
Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed what I have shared with you today. I would really appreciate if you can give me a thumbs up like for this video. Give me your comments. What do you think? And please do subscribe to me because your subscription is important to me and that will also help support me to create more of such videos for you in future. You may also like to watch these videos next. And then I'll see you in my next video.